one veggie but two delights. Roast some carrots for a creamy hummus, then transform the tops into a vibrant pesto. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about hummus. Well, maybe it's all about carrots. Actually, it's about both. We're gonna be making a roasted carrot hummus with carrot top pesto. I have some carrots here, and these have the tops on them, and whenever you can find them with the tops, you should get them. Today, we are going to use the bottoms and the tops of the carrots to make a dish. You will see carrot tops are completely edible all the way from the frond and all the way down the stem. And we're just gonna use the frond, but we'll get to that later. We're making a roasted carrot hummus today, and we're gonna start with the carrots. I have here 16 ounces or 450 grams thereabouts of roasted carrots. Now, all I did was I gave them a good scrub, and these are young, fresh carrots. I didn't even have to peel them. I cut them into pieces. I dressed them with a little bit of olive oil, a couple of tablespoons, hit them with some salt and pepper, and then I roasted them. 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 200 Celsius, and that took about 25 minutes to get them nice and soft. And then we just let them all cool. These are gonna go right into my food processor. Next up is garlic. I love garlic. I have three cloves here, and I just roasted these along with the carrots. And they're nice and soft and nutty now. Into the processor. Now hummus is usually made with chickpeas, and ours has chickpeas in it too. This is a 15 ounce can, which is about 425 grams. And I just drained them right in. Tahini is next. What is tahini? Tahini is ground up sesame seeds. It's ground up into a paste, and it's a traditional ingredient in hummus. It's also going to help bind it together. It's going to give a little background flavor. Right in our food processor. I'm going to add some spices next. We're going to start with coriander. Quarter teaspoon. Coriander is the seeds of the cilantro plant. And guess what? It's related to carrots. So this goes very well with the carrot hummus. Next is cumin. Quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. It's gonna add a smoky and citrusy flavor to it. We need to add a little acid. I'm gonna get that with the juice of a lemon. Now these are beautiful seedless lemons. If you can get them, they're so much easier than regular lemons. We're just gonna squeeze them in. Always use fresh. And we wanna give it a little bit of salt and pepper. A lot of these ingredients need a lot of salt. All right, we're just gonna process this until it's smooth and I'll scrape down the bowl as I need to. All right, this is coming together really well, but we need to add a little bit of olive oil to help it really combine. I have here some really good extra virgin olive oil, and you wanna add about four ounces, which is 120 mils. I'm gonna eyeball it. But I'm gonna do this with the processor running. I have a nice little dish here. I'm just gonna scoop this out. All right, that's pretty good. Now, you could eat this as it is right now, but I like to pop it in the fridge, let it chill for a bit, and let all these flavors come together. So off to the fridge with this. Now, it's time to make our carrot top pesto. 
But let's take a moment and talk about pesto. What is it? Pesto is a sauce, it's not cooked, and traditionally it's made with pine nuts and basil, a little garlic, maybe some Parmesan cheese, and olive oil. But you can make pesto out of almost anything. And we're going to use the tops, these. Now, as I said, we're just gonna use the fronds today. So this recipe today, we've used the entire carrot from top to bottom. I have some carrot tops here. These are the tops from a one pound bunch of carrots. This is about two cups by volume. It weighs out to about 40 grams. And I'm just using the top fronds. I'm not using the rest of the stems because they were a little tough. Now, this amount may vary from bunch to bunch of carrots. You may not get this much out of them. If you don't, you can supplement it with parsley, spinach, basil, whatever you like. This is gonna go right into our food processor. Next up, my favorite, again, garlic. This is one clove, it's raw, and I just gave it a rough chop just to get it started. Into the processor. Now, pesto traditionally has nuts, and today I'm using walnuts. This is a half a cup, which weighs out to about 63 grams or so, and these are just walnuts that I gave a light toast to. Right in our processor. Now we need a little cheese. I have two ounces, 35 grams of grated Parmesan. And we're gonna give it a little bit of salt and pepper. We're just gonna process this until it comes together and gets a little smooth. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. About four ounces, 120 mils, and I'm just gonna eyeball it. And we're gonna do this with the processor running. That looks pretty good. This is the time when you would taste this for seasoning and adjust if you need it. Mm, really good. Seasoning is good, but I want this to be a little looser. I'm gonna add a little more olive oil. Perfect. Now let's spoon this out. All right, my pesto is done. Now I'm gonna go get my hummus from the fridge. All right, here is my hummus right from the fridge. It's nice and cooled and those flavors are just coming together. And here's my pesto. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spoon some on the top. You can be artfully messy, you can be fancy. I'm just gonna put a dollop right in the center. Right there, a nice generous dollop. Now how would you serve this? Usually this is served with pita bread. Uh, you could use any type of vegetable tray. You could use sliced peppers and celery or crackers. That's what I'm gonna do today. So let's give it a little taste. Let's get some of the pesto and the hummus together. Mmm. That is so good. A million flavors going on. It's creamy. It's a little sweet. You get those notes of the roasted garlic and the carrots themselves and make it sweet. Then you get this punch of flavor from this carrot top pesto because they taste like carrots too. You get the garlic and the green flavor from it. It's wonderful. Show you how to really eat it. That's with a spoon. And I need just a little bit more. Mmm. Yeah. Now, I need to wash it, oh, I need to wash it down. Here it is, a little red wine today. All right, if you like this episode, and maybe you've learned something, do us a favor and sign up for our newsletter. While you're at it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell, and you'll never miss an episode.
Now I'm going to go and share this with my family. While I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers. <laughs>